Hello friend, and welcome back to Chase the Sunset. It's going to be a 15 minute sprint around Brands Hatch uh, before the future race, which is going to be the next video. We have Unicorn starting on pole, John Boy second, then Kevman, Ollie, myself and Stonecutter. A lot of drivers missing from this race, but here we go. 15 minutes of pure power around the Brands Hatch Indie layout. Are we all going to get through this first corner okay? John Boy looks a little bit wide. Stone Cutter looks a little bit wide, but everybody's through. We've got a change of position in the middle. Kevman scything his way through, wanting to attack Unicorn to be the, uh, the number one yellow car. John Boy hot on his heels. It's Ollie. Trying to capitalise on John Boy going out wide and he makes it through. And uh, myself making it through as well. Oh, there's a bit of a wibble. And that is going to be race over for the Grandpa Mobile. Getting a lap one now. Back into that difficult, difficult first corner. Everybody getting through. Grandpa pitting with damage. So that's, yeah, that's definitely race over. The question is, can Grandpa get out before? The procession comes back around yes so uh, no getting lapped on the first lap because that would be terrible meanwhile kevman having a look at unicorn you go up the inside nope we're on the outside for the next corner unicorn hugging the apex come on go out oh ollie ollie putting it into the sand but managing to uh, avoid any contact with the barrier so no loss for uh, damage wise but that was a close call Kevman goes around the outside into T1. Another very brave move. And Kevman takes the lead of this race. It's really a three horse race now. Kev, Unicorn and John Boy. Drivers we are used to seeing at the front of these races. And they are pushing like crazy. They should theoretically have all the tyres and fuel they need to make it to the end of the sprint race. And... Uh, well, they're going to be needing all the tyres of fuel they can get if it's going to be battling like this because these are pushing hard. John Boy got out wide this time. John Boy's uh, found the gravel. So Ollie gets back through on John Boy. And then it became a two horse race at the front. Unicorn and Kevman. Unicorn going for that uh, wider entry. Kevman. Oh, Kevman into the grass. Gra into the grass. <laughs> into the gravel. Um, so down to third, down to fourth, here comes Stonecutter, he's kept on losing the place, he is down to fifth. So it's all gone wrong for Kevman, so unlucky. It could be worse, it could be me, but he's not. So Unicorn now has a commanding lead of this race. With Ollie and John Boy quite a way back. Oh, Ollie there, losing grip for a moment, and again. The back end of that car, very, very uh, loose. Further back, we've got Kev taking a look at Stonecutter. Can he get up the inside of the American driver? Oh, Stonecutter loses on the first corner. He's trying to be defensive, but unfortunately, he overcooked it. So, some breathing space there for Kevman, who's doing his best to catch up to John Boy in third who's chasing down Ollie, and I do believe Ollie is catching Unicorn. Wow, this is going to be uh, quite the race if this carries on. Having a voice left at the end of it. John Boy, jinking left, jinking right, looking for a way through. Oh, Ollie's done it again. Oh, he's spun. He's hit Kev. We've got uh, damage on Ollie's car, damage on Kev's car. Stonecutter coming through on Ollie, who is, I think, still stranded. He is. So that's absolutely disastrous for Ollie. Kev, meanwhile, with that front aerodynamic damage, is uh, he's clearly struggling. And Stonecutter moves up into third. It looks as though Stonecutter is catching John Boy just as fast as Kev's catching uh, Stonecutter. So he's all about to come together. Oh, we've got a spinner. Oh, Unicorn. Unicorn's gone round on the last corner and then had to uh, make their way through that gravel where there's no grip. 
the unicorn who was in the lead has now relinquished that lead to John Boy, who somehow gets so lucky. How does he do it? Everybody throw okay? It looks like it. Ollie is catching the back of this procession. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, he's in the gravel. I'm sorry, Ollie. I'll get my mouth shut next time. Oh, Ollie's struggling to get going. Oh, you hate to see that. Where the physics work sometimes is just, it's just awful, it's just cruel. Unicorn trying to get back on terms with Kevman. Kevman, I think, being held up there by Stonecutter. The two of them have come together. Stonecutter got nudged out, uh, but he's still going. Kevman still going. Unicorn back up to third, and I think sizing up Kevman for a move. Oh, our Stonecutter there just lost the back end on the braking and hit the barrier. So that's time lost. Based in the wrong direction with a penalty. Wow, you couldn't write it. Unicorn looking for way past Kev, but Kev is eyeing up John Boy. Over halfway now. And Ollie's just gone round at the back, allowing Stonecutter to get past him. Kev's going for the move. Oh, it's a scary place to go side by side, but look at that. These two used to uh, racing together at Race Asylum, so the two drivers are showing each other a lot of respect. Kevman taking the lead, John Boy down to second. Look out for Unicorn, who's now managed to get on the back of John Boy and could pounce. And the return of Grandpa in the background, and Unicorn there with a big wibble. Just put the, uh, the wheels on the grass. I think John Boy might be looking for a way past. Kevman here, or just lining him up. Yeah, he's just lining him up. I don't think he's being particularly defensive. John Boy, very much an attacking sort of driver. The Grand Palmobile is definitely catching this group. Although that wasn't quite the right line through there. Uh, oh, Unicorn up ahead there with a bit of uh, back end motion, shall we say, behind John Boy. Oh, and off. The aero on these cars, so sensitive. Unicorn down to fourth and having to get back up to speed. Oh, Kev! Just takes too much curb. Oh, he's spun it. Managed to get it facing the right direction. Is he going to lose out to Unicorn? Yes, Unicorn sweeps through. Oh, no, the front there, John Boy. Uh, John Boy's gone round. He got, uh, he got too feisty there with the loud pedal. Somehow, Grandpa, who was nearly a lap down on the uh, end of the first lap, now leading the race, so uh, I don't know. You tell me, because I have no idea. There's about four minutes of this race left, and this three, if they want to win this race, once we get a move on, they need to stop fighting amongst each other and work together to, to catch the old fart out the front. But who's it going to be? Who's going to decide, are we bump drafting or are we racing? Kev and Unicorn certainly very close together there. Oh, in fact, Kevman looking for a move up the inside of Unicorn. Unicorn had a little bit wide, giving him plenty of space, plenty of respect. Kevman not quite getting past there. Oh, Unicorn dropping it a little bit. Although Kev slowed down, so I wonder if Kevman actually uh, tapped Unicorn. Got some tire squeal. That's from the Grandpa Mobile. Uh, which is also carrying damage from somewhere we didn't see. But this looks like it's an inevitable pass by John Boy. Here he comes. John Boy through into the lead of this race, where he likes to be. Now he's got to put as much daylight between himself and Unicorn and Kev as possible. Certainly not thinking the uh, Grand Mobile is a threat, as per usual. Oh, and there, there we go, in the background. That's pretty much the end of, uh, the end of that. Is Stonecutter going to get through? Here comes Stonecutter. Already up to speed with clean tyres. Just two minutes to go now, which is about three laps. We've got John Boy leading from Unicorn. And then Kevman. The 
Oh, Kevin out a bit wide, but he's okay. Unicorn lining up, John Boy there, up the inside, the, uh, the tighter, faster line, and that is first place for Unicorn. Well, it's hard to keep up with all the, uh, the lead changes, but they've been happening. Can John Boy send it again? Just a little bit too far back there. The tyres, particularly the front left, are absolutely shot on these cars. They must be feeling awful to drive right now. John Boy knows he's running out of laps to win this race. There's uh, the limited points on offer for this. In fact, there's no points on offer for this. This is just for getting the uh, strategy right for the main race. And right now, it seems like Unicorn may have that strategy nailed. John Boy with much better tyres. Uh, John Boy, a very smooth driver. He's able to conserve his tyres very well. Unicorn, a controller driver, so unfortunately, at a disadvantage, especially with those, uh, those front tyres. But these two battling hammer and tongue and i think this is going to be this lap and one more for these but possibly the last lap for uh stone Cutter, myself and ollie and look at this kevman has caught up now so they've all got the equal chance if kevman can get a good run on john boy perhaps he can slingshot himself past unicorn as well absolutely nothing set in stone here in fact unicorn out very wide there that's going to put john boy right on for a pass into this first corner you can see John Boy in a slipstream a little bit of overspeed with a yellow flag up ahead but that's cleared can everybody get through this first corner as safely they can good because this is for the last time this is the final lap is Unicorn going to bring it home is John Boy going to make a dive are they going to take each other out and give the win to Kevman we are going to have to just sit and wait and see it sense here is Unicorn leading the way. It's so close. Just like the first race was, the, the first feature race was very, very close at the end. But that like this will be as well. But I think Unicorn is going to take the checkered flag and win this race. You know what? <laughs> These are 20 minute races, not 15 minute races. See, grandpas can't count. Everybody knows that. They're just too old for maths. Behind there, Kevman muscles his way through past John Boy. So there are a few more minutes left. I do apologise for getting all excited. That does mean Unicorn's not quite as safe as we initially thought. Kevman pushing, pushing. Can he push up to the lead? John Boy now in third. With much better tyres, but his rear tyres are looking very rough. There's a grandpa approaching from behind, but with aero damage and a damaged wheel, it's very unlikely that, uh, that that's going to be anything to trouble the leaders. Speaking of the leaders, here is the lead driver, Unicorn. Okay, now there actually isn't long left. I'll get it right this time. Uh, the, <laughs> it's about, uh, I don't know, four or five laps left. Oh, John Boy in the gravel. John Boy, who I thought would be challenging for the lead. He's off. Down into fourth place. So John Boy now with it all to do again. Oh, and in the lead. Kevman and Unicorn have come together. Uh, Unicorn's made it away. Kevman trying to get out of the dirt there and has been hit by Ollie, I think. Let's look at a replay of what just happened. Because this is... This is dramatic. This changes everything. So... Oh, they just touched nose to tail. Unicorn just got away with it. Kevman did not. Here comes Ollie. Look out, Ollie. Oh, so that's going to be heavy damage for both of them. In fact, Kevman has massive damage on his car. Ollie's getting a penalty for that. Uh, Kevman down to fifth. Ollie's car isn't too badly damaged. Stone Cutter's car is very damaged, but. All that means that John Boy's issues have been negated, as of Unicorn's, although Unicorn's front tyres are almost completely gone, uh, and the grandpa in the lead with damage probably isn't going to be uh, winning this race, because 
two cars behind are in much better condition and much faster, unless you count Unicorn's tyres. Well, you can't call these racers. I dare you to try it before one of them. Look at these three all together. It's the penultimate lap and Unicorn has swept into the lead. Unicorn with a bit of a wibble on there. Oh no. It's not enough grip and Unicorn is around. Grandpa there having to come to a complete stop to not wipe out Unicorn. And that is absolutely disastrous. Once again, this has been a race of disasters. Let's have a look. So Stonecutter inexplicably up to second place on the final lap what is going on John Boy is miles away John Boy's gone he hasn't been involved in any of this he wants no part of it there's too many shenanigans he is out of there Kevman now desperately looking for that honour of second place over third is he going to find it he's going for the move but that move is not on Careful here, there's been a lot of accidents here in this race. Speaking of accidents, well, no such thing happening here for John Boy. He's crossing the line, he's winning. Stonecutter coming home in second after a very quiet race for him. Kevin third, then Unicorn, and then Grandpa. And then, uh, well, this sums up Ollie's race all together. Oh, uh, Ollie. It's been one of those days, hasn't it? So congratulations to our race winner, John Boy. You couldn't have called it, but John Boy's one of those drivers that never gives in. Wow, that was epic. Hope you enjoyed the race. We certainly enjoyed the racing. Just want to say a big thank you to our channel sponsor, Button Bashers, for PCs, consoles, games and accessories. Thank you, of course, to our Patreon patrons for supporting the channel in their unique way. And of course, thanks to Discord for being there, being chatty and taking part in these races. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now.